I am glad you are here. We are going to solve this conversion problem in two different ways, so you can see how these steps work. Let's go! Here we have 12 gallons and 3 quarts, and we need to change it to pints. First, we need to identify what conversion factors will help us to go from gallons straight to pints. Let's look into a con any conversion table. We can take conversion factors right from the table. So, we have 1 gallon equals 4 quarts. So, we can go from gallon to quarts. But how can we get to pints? We can use another conversion factor. 1 quart equals 2 pints. So, these two conversion factors will help us get 2 pints. So, let's look at the steps. First, we need to write original measurement as a fraction. We have two quantities here. We have 12 gallons and 3 quarts. Let's work with gallons first. So, we are going to change gallons into quarts and pints. So, we will have 12 gallons we will change to quarts, and then we will change to pints. So, this is first way of doing it. Let's go. So, first step tells us to write the original measurement as a fraction. So, we will write 12 gallons over 1 and prepare to multiply. Next step tells us to write the conversion factor as a fraction, so the original units cancel out. So, we are going to quotes and we will use this conversion factor. So, we will try to write it as a fraction, so the gallons cancel out. So, where would I put gallons? I have gallons on top in the numerator, so I will put one gallon in the denominator, so my units cancel out. And I will put four quotes on top in the numerator. How do I know that I'm doing it right? I have my original units cancel out. Now, I am with quotes and I need to get to pints. So, I need to repeat this step with other conversion factor so I can get to my desired units to pints. So, I'm multiplying by another conversion factor. What? One quart equals two pints. I have quotes on top, so I will put one quart on the bottom so that my unwanted units cancel out. And then I will put two pints in the numerator. Now, look, we got rid of gallons, we got rid of quarts, and we are left with pints. So, we are changing 12 gallons directly to pints. Now, we can do the math. Now, we multiply and simplify. So, 12 times 4 times 2. So, 12 times 4 times 2. That's my calculator. We will have 96 pints over 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So, we will have 96 pints. So, we changed 12 gallons to 96 pints. Now, let's work on our second quantity, 3 quarts, and we will do the same thing. So, we have 3 quarts. We will write it over 1 times, because we write the original measurement as a fraction. Then we pick up our conversion factor. 1 quart equals 2 pints. So, we will write it. Help me out. You have quarts on top, right? Where would you put quarts here? You will put it on the bottom, in the denominator, right? So that your original units cancel out, right? That's how you know, you know that you're doing Right, because you want your units to cancel out. And you will put two pints right here. All you do, you take your conversion factor and plug them, plug them in here, so you cancel out your unwanted units. Now, we got rid of quotes and we got two pints. Now, we stop and do the math. So, three times two is six, six pints, over one times one is one, so we have six pints. Okay. Now, what do we do? We started with 12 gallons and 3 quarts. We changed each quantity into pints. Now, we just need to add them together. Let's go. Now, it's easy. So, 96 pints plus 6 pints. We have 102 pints, right? So, that's our answer. 12 gallons and 3 quarts 
equal 102 pints. So you see this step took us two conversion factor, two conversion factors. Now let's look at another way of doing it. Let's go. Now this is a second way of doing it and you may like it more. We are going to change gallons into quarts. Then we are going to add our three quarts to get the total number of quarts and then we will change the quarts into pints. Let's do it. So we are going to take 12 gallons and change it to quarts. All right, so what do we do? Help me out. Write the original measurement as a fraction. So we will write 12 gallons over one times. And we are gonna take the conversion factor, right? Write it as a fraction to cancel our original units. Now you know from our first way of doing it, right? So I have gallons on top. I will put one gallon on the bottom, right? I put it right here to cancel my original units. Let's cancel and feel good about it. And then we will put four quarts on top in the numerator, right? So gallons are gone, we are left with quarts and that's what we are trying to do. Now we do the math, we multiply and simplify. 12 times four is 48, so we have 48 quarts over one times one is one over one. So we got 48 quarts, 48 quarts. So 12 gallons equal equals 48 quarts. Now let's add our second quantity, three quarts. So 48 quarts plus three quarts. The total is, help me, 51. That's right, 51 quarts. But we need to remember what we are trying to do. We are trying to get two pints. So we are gonna take our 51 quarts Use this conversion factor, use these steps, and get two pints. Let's go. So what do we do? 51 quarts over one times. We're taking this conversion factor and plug it in here in such a way to cancel our quarts. So one quart, I put it on the bottom, right? Because I have it on top, my original units on top. We cancel out. Oh, it feels so good to cancel out. How do we know we're on the right track? Because we canceled our unwanted units. And I'll put two pints right here. Two pints. Oh, it feels good when you get the right answer. It feels good for me too. So now we do the math. 51 times two. 51 times two, 102. So 102 pints. And then what do we have here in the denominator? One times one is one. So 102 pints. So with this method, we changed two the 12 gallons into quarts, added the quarts, and then we changed quarts into pints. So this is our answer, just like the first way we did it. 102, 102 pints. I hope this video helped you feel better about doing conversions. Write down the steps, look over this example again. I wish you success in your studies. Keep up your good work and I will see you in my next video.